Day five of Texans training camp here at Houston Methodist Training Center. I'm Zach Tawatari alongside my colleague Luis Ortiz. And Luis, first full day, yeah. you know, the pads, <laughs> fans, get it all in one, right? Oh yeah, the fans, they showed up early. Started lining up at three, four in the morning. They were excited to be here for open practice and now fans showed up, the players showed out because they know it's a special day for the fans, right? And so they came out here and really put on a show for them at practice. Full uh, first day of pads, right? right so now it's right. when things start to ramp up, right. the players really now they can start tackling and really kind of put in, the, you know, all of the work at 100%. Now, D'Amico Ryan wants to be careful, right? He doesn't want to suffer any injuries, but he talks about he talked about it today that you could feel feel that that excitement, that extra motivation. When you come across the bridge and you see all the fans out and their excitement, right, for our guys, right, it really fires everyone up, and we're excited to see the support that we have again this year from our fans. Definitely need it, and we really appreciate it. When we out there and it's 100 some degrees, you know, the humidity, you know, you're ready to go and you're ready to hit somebody. And Jalen Petrie figures to be a big part of this team, a big part of this Texan secondary. And when we know who most of the starters are gonna be on this roster, there's one very interesting <laughs> position battle that's going on at the other corner, isn't there? Yeah, you're right. I mean, we're talking about Kamari Lasseter, right? The rookie coming in and he's fighting for that starting role. He seems to be ready, you know, putting it on the field the way that he's working. And so he did get some credit from Stephon Diggs, who here at practice goes up against him. And then also who, the one we know who is going to start at cornerback is Derek Stingley. I can't even remember a catch being part of him in, in a long time. So, I mean, he doing what he doing. And it's the reason he's here. And it's the light down that side of the field. So I feel like I got a long way to go. You know, I feel like um, it's been the first couple of practices. And uh, I feel like to get to the point where I really want to be at, I have a long way to go. I have a lot to learn. I have a lot to, you know, uh, work on. So, I mean, right now is okay, but I want to I wanna be a lot better. And this Texans team is predicated on competition, the idea that iron sharpens iron. Yep. Kamari Lassiter saying that, listen, you get to go up against three of the best receivers in the league every day, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and Stephon Diggs, who you heard talk about him. Yeah. It's going to make you better. Another position mm -hmm. where on the other side of the ball, there's some fierce competition is going to be offensive line and defensive line having to go up against a guy like Daniil Hunter every day. Titus Howard talked a little bit about that, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, and going against Will Anderson Jr. as well, right. right? And so Titus talked about, you know, now the offensive line this second year under D'Amico Ryans can really start to gel. Yeah. Remember, last year, a lot of moving pieces. They they had some injuries. So now let's see what it, what it looks like, if they can really get that chemistry going so they can create those gaps, those spaces for the running game, especially the blocking game. So uh, Titus Howard talked about that. He sees the offensive line taking the right steps. Pretty good, man. LT's doing really good. Uh, I think it just uh, it just taking him, well, his uh, stuff a little different, but LT's doing great. It's in great shape. He's feeling good. Um, but as far as last year, man, uh, and this year, I just think like the depth of guys that we got on this team is, is, is very high. We got a lot of guys that can play some football. And, uh, you know, we got the Rook Fisher coming in. Uh, man, we've been pouring into him. He's getting better every day. Uh, so he's learning a lot from me and LT. And, you know, he's going to be a great player himself uh, too. So I feel like we got a great roster. You know, they built the best O-line they can build. And I think, you know, we just got to continue to work. Like I said, work every day, get better. You know, every day ain't gonna be perfect, gonna be ups and downs. We just gotta steadily keep climbing. And when week one comes, we're gonna put it all together. And so talking about the offensive line, one guy that still hasn't practiced is Larry Mitonso. He's coming off a knee surgery during the right. off season. So, but today, a rest day for John Mitchie, yep. a rest day for Nico Collins. Dalton Schultz did come back after missing a few practices. So uh, things are starting to pick up here for the Houston Texans. D'Amico saying that he wishes in his day they had a vet rest day <laughs> planned in. <laughs> Joking about that, of course. But one other good piece of news to end on, the Texans organization saying, that they have sold out their season tickets yeah. already. I guess it's, you know, really no surprise as they continue to avoid the rain. And for now, it appears that the sun continues to shine on the Houston Texans. From Houston Methodist Training Center alongside Luis Ortiz, I'm Zach Tawatari.